Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back, and today we are going to discuss and build out a sitemap for one of our Brand Accelerator clients. And the sitemap is basically the framework that we're going to use, uh, the blueprint we're going to use to find out exactly what's going to go into um, our client's website. What sections are, are we going to create and design for him? And how, what kind of user experience are we going to create to keep the visitors uh, from coming back um, and, and, and consuming more of our client's content and, 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 and buying more of his or her uh, product or services. So um, we have Malika back in the house. What's going on, Malika? All great, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our project management software and we are going to build out a um, site map quickly for our client. Uh, we've already completed the competitive analysis, so we kind of know what direction we want to go into as far as um, what should go into a well, uh, a highly optimized, uh, innovative uh, website for 2018. So um, let me share a screen quick. And we go into our sitemap. And I am going to pull this over here. And so because we work with a lot of personal brands, um, we've created some really awesome uh, websites for our personal brand. And Jess Toddfell is a personal brand. Um, so I want to, here we go, pull up another sitemap from another client because a lot of it may be very similar um, to what it is that we want to create, right? Um, so let's just take a look at the homepage right now. All right, copy. All right, so, and we'll walk through exactly why we're doing what we're doing. So <clears throat> we have, you can see my screen, right, Malika? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. So when we did the competitive audit, one of the things that we saw, the competitive websites, that they were very, very busy and they were just trying to do way too much on their homepages and it was confusing me and you. And and again, it, it also looked extremely outdated. So what we want to do is simplify the look and feel of this website, really get them to, when I say them, the visitor to consume the value of what it is that Jess provides and get them excited, evoke emotion to get them to take action on step two, whatever that step two is, right? Um, so I'm looking at the sections here, right? Of the website, the WordPress website, right? Which we will customize, uh, we will customize the theme, but. So we're looking at the homepage and we want to define what the sections are on the homepage. So the importance of a awesome hero image and a call to action on that hero image and above the fold, um, how important is that for the brand and how important is that for the visitor? Yeah, it's, it's huge. <laughs> It's definitely huge for just involving the the visitor and the user and just making it clear what is it, where you go from here. I mean, uh, it's definitely important to, uh, to uh, get in agreement with client what it is that we want to present first. Like in this example, we want to build an email list. Maybe this is going to be the case with, with Jess too. If we have Jess, Jess's image presented nicely, user will know who is he dealing with. He will already become familiar with the person behind the brand. 
Mm -hmm. um, because we are, as you said, we are we were working on uh, many uh, personal brands. So this is a kind of we already have a structure that we kind of use that works so far. So we are not changing too much. We want to customize everything for each of our clients. So yeah, definitely the importance of of call to, of clear call to action. Probably the the, the contrast color of on 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 another background contrast. Uh, is uh, is definitely huge. So it makes it visible and it makes it noticeable. Um, yeah. Agreed. And I think one of the things that we need to focus and and I want to sure sh ah, sort of shed some light on this is what you said. You mentioned earlier about building an email list, mm -hmm. and the way you build brand is by tribe by community you know you can't build a brand by yourself you know it's not what you say about your business it's what they say about your yeah. business right and if yeah. you don't have anybody talking about it if you don't have anybody paying attention to it you don't have a brand you don't have a business and that's yeah. why it's so important to build brand uh when you're growing your business uh you know brand awareness is is where it's at in 2018 and uh you know the 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 days of of opting in to webinars and opting in to downloading a free book and all that those days are over like i'm not down i'm not opting into anything if i don't know who you are yeah. right mm -hmm. period so if if you're not building brand awareness you're gonna lose you're gonna lose so first and foremost above the fold like i love what you said about having a hero image of him because it's the person behind the brand. I love that. And he's got a great smile and he's very inviting, like I mentioned before. So that's going to have people gravitate towards him. Um, the, the other thing is we'll, we're going to give them one thing to take action on above the fold. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that's Come here and get this. Now, we don't know exactly what that thing is yet, but they will take one action and one action only mm -hmm. yeah. powerful yeah. so again um we want to introduce who just is so who is just todd feld so that'll be a section yeah. why he does what he does yeah that's really very very important mm -hmm. right what motivates and, and he's really good on video so this could have a, a video element to it, this section, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. within 90 seconds, Jess will get you excited. And, and, yeah, and that's definitely what I was thinking. And maybe even consider having a video as a background on the home page because he is into media. So this will kind of get people into what he what he's doing right away. Mm -hmm. If he would have uh, or if he would just create a uh, new um, dynamic video or if he, if he already has it, like something that would just be so dynamic so that it, it catches uh, a, the eye. His attention, yeah, right away. Yeah, I love yeah. that idea. I yeah. love that idea. And it's funny, I didn't pull this, we didn't pull this framework out of a hat, Malika. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is what works. This is what gets people excited. Yeah. This is yeah. what gets people to want to do business with you. They want to know, you know, what's the purpose? What, yeah. what are you doing? Right? Why are you doing this? There's a thousand people that do what you do. Why are you doing it? Yeah. And that's the differentiating factor that people need to pay attention to. And if you're not, and you're focused on other things, you're missing a huge point here. So I want to, I want to bring that to, to everybody's attention. So you, you guys get it. Um, so why they do it and then how does he do it? And so this section here is going to showcase some of his services. Um, the other thing that I might think of uh, here is um, he does have he does have uh, quite a bit of services that he provides. So I may even think to create a a, a whole page on his services, mm -hmm. like one page dedicated to his services. So uh, what I want to do is I want to add a services homepage yeah how i do it could be just a short section that's kind of inviting and it could have a button that goes to services and then right. all, all the list is displayed yeah. cta2 services homepage mm -hmm. right yeah 
And then we could come up with a really cool way to showcase that. Right? Yeah, on the services, yeah. Right. And then we have a testimonials section. Obviously, you want to build up his proof and credibility. Maybe we do some video testimonials. I always, I truly believe that video testimonial is going to evoke way much, way, way more emotion than some text. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll talk to, we'll talk to Jess about that and see if he can, see if he has, I'm sure he does. Uh, so yeah, I, I wonder if he, I'm always kind of trying, the testimonials sometimes can appear boring if you were working on them like all the time in the same conference. So I'm kind of always trying to find something new. So I, when reviewing this website and thinking about Jess's uh, design, I was thinking, what if we could, but that would depend on the Jess's clients, whether they would be um, willing to share all the stories. Uh, have Instead of testimonials, have some kind of... Um, like uh, I was inspired by our uh, journey, uh, user journey. So what if uh, he would have something like a uh, my client story or yeah. my client's journey, and then document like this: the results I deli- uh, I deliver, or the results that my clients receive. Yeah, and then kind of have like a whole journey documented into either videos or uh, images, case like, studies. Uh, yeah, yeah, case studies, they would need to share this. So if he has a avail- availability to do this with them or if they would agree, mm-hmm. I think it's something that we can consider. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then what I would like to do is bolt in a social media section, very, maybe very similar to my site. Mm-hmm, yeah. You know, because he is, he is out there on social media. He is making an impact in, on video, on social media. So we want to make sure that people uh, become part of that you know and get to see him in action i think that's very very helpful that's the reason why i put it on my site um then obviously we want a blog section we want a contact section and then we want a footer Maybe uh, a, a podcast is he gonna have a podcast also? Uh, in the future uh-huh, okay. i had mentioned that to him and it, I, if, if you look at the summary and insights doc i believe that we put that as one of the prioritization uh-huh but it's more of a long-term goal. Um, And then uh, basically what will happen is, you know, we'll have a services homepage and then we'll have a a services individual page Mm -hmm. or it links out to a funnel, which I would, which I would love to see. Um, And then, so that would be, that would be the site map um, for the WordPress site, right? Um, now the ClickFunnels pages. Okay, so, so services uh, homepage will have, who uh, will be linked right on to ClickFunnels. They will not have like a separate. Exactly. Okay. So, because we want to get them into the funnel, funnel and right. the services are that are the verticals, are the funnels that are going to uh, generate revenue for him. Okay. Right? Um, So what we want to do is have a, we want to have a level one pro, pro, like a level one program. And I know he has a book, so this could be his book funnel. Right? And that'll be a, a sales page, order form page, and thank you page. Ah. Cut. And then what we want to do is, right? Copy. Level two program which is intermediate program, right? And sales page, order form page. So what I would like to do is get them on a call. So what we would do is something like this. So it would be a sales page introducing that particular service then the next page would be having the visitor apply to work with Jess, right? 
Uh, and then and yeah. And then a thank you page that would have them schedule the call and get on the phone with him, you know, because I'm all about qualifying the client before they waste our time or if it's not a good fit for either one of us, we want to get that up front and out of the way before we spend our precious time work, you know, uh, talking to them. And it's no offense to them. It's no, you know, we're not trying to be like, oh, we're better than you, but we're, we're basically saying, here's some qualifications that you must hit if yeah. you decide you want to work with us right yeah. and if you don't uh, right and if you don't we can refer you to somebody else or so on and so forth but we want to do a lot of the heavy lifting before we get on the phone with them and uh this we, i should say we want to do a lot of the disqualifying before we get on the phone with them um and then what i would say is have a level three program which is his core, uh, his top, his um, high ticket program. And this is where they actually have to sign up and actually pay for a consultation. So we'll have a sales page, an order form page to buy the consult. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have the questionnaire page or the application page on the order confirmation. Right, and then a thank you. You follow? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And so, you know, that's his business. Okay, so these are the services that are going to be on the uh, on the services homepage. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So services homepage. Mm -hmm. We'll have. And then on products the one, two, and three. Right, a little bit more detail. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then. If for more, they go to the sales page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? Or we could do it very similar to the toolkit, right? To the toolkit page. So if we yeah. do if we do something like this, I think this would work. Yeah, yeah. That's what I first thought that we we're gonna do. But we can also go straight into sales file. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm one so here's so here's what I'm thinking of like the services homepage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the call to action is learn more. Yeah, yeah. But maybe if there's uh, a three services, maybe this is not necessary, but if there's more, we can... I, th I think there is. Oh, okay. Then, then yeah, I think then it's nicer to have a, a, like a transition page like this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to eliminate the clicks too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm with you 100%. Um, yeah, but in here, you would kind of have... Um, this, is, this would actually be a, uh, a services homepage. The, the services that, that we have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Ex so, exactly. Yeah. It would just help bring the organization and kind of the user can see what all the services are right away. So. Right. Yeah. And we're, and we're, we're decluttering the homepage. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. We're decluttering the homepage and that's the key that we want. We want smooth. We want clean. We want easy to consume. So. There you have it guys, another sitemap developed with yours truly and my design genius. <laughs> and my, 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 U, my, my UI, I should say UX, we're at both tied into one uh, genius here, uh, Malika. She's been part of, the, part of the team now. Oh my God, we're going on two years, Malika. Can you believe that? it's awesome i i love it i i just i can only say that i love it that's awesome <laughs> I, even, listen i love i love having you part of the team it's it's just it's just even when i'm demotivated i can only speak with you and i'm kind of my enthusiasm just goes up <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love it i love it i love it now that you got me all 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 bashful and 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 and, and uh it, you know rosy cheeked um, we will finish up this video by just saying, you know, there's a lot that goes into website design, uh, from user experience to, uh, you know, everything it's from, psychology. yeah, to, to, to why we're putting the things that we're putting on the homepage. And if you're not think thinking this through, um, that's why your website is falling flat. You know, and that's why you're not generating the leads and the sales out of the website um, that you should. 
And you know, what's the point of having a website if it's not generating business for you? So this is the in-depth, you know, uh, strategy that we do uh, inside of Unique Designs to help our clients scale and grow their business. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, I strongly advise that you do and I invite you to do that. And uh, we will be continuously bringing you value to help you build and scale your business. Because at the end of the day, that's how you build brand and that's how you connect with your audience on a way deeper level and have you differentiating yourself from all the competition. So have an awesome day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.